All right, I'm moving from Minnesota to Nashville, Tennessee. So let's get packing. So I grabbed this fan here just because it is like 81 degrees in September. Man, why is it so hot out? Forgot I had this thing in my car. Why is moving this hard? So much stuff to pack. Bye, buddy. I'm gonna miss you. Gotta throw the PlayStation in here. Speaking of PlayStation, PS5 Pro just got released. I don't care. Um, I shouldn't say that. I don't know if you guys care about it or not. Should I get it? If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll get it. I fit snugly in there. Gotta pack the essentials. Buddy, say hi. Please say hi. So I just got Jimmy John's for now and later. I'm starving, I have not ate at all today. And now I gotta check my route. We're in Bemidji right now, which I've only been driving for like an hour. Um, the next stop's gonna be Brainerd or, uh, yeah, Brainerd. If you've seen the movie Fargo, you'll know where it's at. Clip there. Anyway, time to get back on the road. So after leaving Bemidji and getting Jimmy John's, I had to drive about another hour, if not two hours, to get to Brainerd, Minnesota, which is in the middle of Minnesota. And yeah, I made a stop at a place where I'd be stopping a lot at on this trip, otherwise known as Costco. All right, so I'm filling up at the Costco gas station. Um, this could be like the first of probably many Costco stops over this trip just because Costco gas is usually cheaper and I at least know um, that's legit. So after I filled up on gas, which was surprisingly pretty cheap for being how low I was on gas at the time, I went into the store, got a towel, which I needed because of course I forgot to grab one for my home. And I also grabbed some stuff from the food court because I'd be going out to eat a lot and I wanted to save some money. So all right, just made it out of Costco. Got my towel. So that'll be nice. Cause I totally forgot to grab one at home. And I grabbed a pop, even though I shouldn't have. But hey, it's a long drive ahead. I also forgot to mention I went in the Costco food court, and I got the double chunk chocolate cookie. Double chocolate chunk cookie. I'll probably have the thing of Big AJ or whatever his name is playing. He bring the bus. And uh, yeah, I usually don't like these things, but. I don't know, I always get them. I need to stop. But yeah, anyway, I still got two hours to drive, so let's get going. Before I leave though, gotta have one of these. There we go. <laughs> so after traveling out of Brainerd, out of Costco, I drove another two and a half hours down to the Twin Cities, Minnesota, you know, St. Paul, Minneapolis area to go stay at my cousin's and yeah. All right, so I just made it to my cousin's house where I'm staying. So I'm gonna call it a night for now. I'll see you in the morning. All right, so the second day, just got up. Gotta get ready. Gonna hit some stores on the way out just cause I have the time. Um, luckily today is like the shortest drive, so I'm not in a hurry. Gonna hit up Shields and maybe some other stores. So let's get to it. All right, so I gotta put my bags back in my car and then time to head out. All right, so I got all my stuff packed, getting ready to go. Um, shout out to my cousins. Got some snacks here from them, so that'll be sweet for the road. They also gave me this. 
Not a big um, energy drink guy, but I don't know. I might need it tomorrow. Got a long drive ahead. But yeah, time to head out to Shields and get some cool things. I don't know. I got some time to chill, so let's take advantage of it. They also gave me this ax too. I guess I stink or something. Just kidding. I know the story behind this. It's nothing crazy, so they got it for free or whatever. And I guess I can take it off their hands, even though I never use axe. So, whatever. Time to head out. All right, so I just arrived at Shields. Um, I hope to get a couple of shirts and maybe like some shorts. I don't know, running low on gym shorts and stuff. Most of them are covered in paint now, so. You know, get some new clothes, look around, and I don't know, the store's just cool. So I went into Shields, looked around a little bit. Um, Shields is a really cool sports and uh, just athletic wear kind of store. They got a ton of stuff like swim trunks, uh, surfing gear. That's the main thing I really go for, but they got like Nike and all these other things. They got Lego. They had that Lego Bowser there, which was kind of funny. Um, they also got a lot of sports and memorabilia. I can't talk. And they have animatronics and stuff too that you can mess around with. I don't know. If you got shields in your area, I definitely recommend it. Alright, so I just got out of shields. Uh, I got a shirt. Pretty sweet, you know. Um, I don't know. They had a lot of stuff I wanted, but the problem with shields, even though it's not really a problem, most stores are like this. It's just, I don't know. I want a pair of shorts, but I don't want to spend 50 bucks, you know? That's kind of my thing. At least for shorts that don't feel or look that great. So, I don't know. Just got the shirt. It's pretty cheap. But, uh, yeah. I also can't be spending all my money. I got some places to be. So, yeah. Let's get some Chick-fil-A and head out. Which I guess is right there. I was wrong. That was Arby's. Alright, so I lied. Turns out that was Arby's by Shields. Um, I'm right outside Chick-fil-A here. So... Time to go inside and, I don't know, I'll probably eat in there. I'm not in a hurry. All right, got a spicy chicken deluxe, fries, lemon. All right, just got out of Chick-fil-A. Gonna say, eight out of 10, as usual, pretty good. Um, I don't know, they put pickles on my sandwich. I told them not to, but it's, it's okay, whatever. We'll just take them off. I'm not that upset. Anyway, um, it's about noon. Probably gonna stop at Costco again. We'll see how many times I stop there this uh, whole video, but I'm gonna fill up on gas and then get going. Drive through Wisconsin. I've never done this by myself before, so it's gonna be fun. But first though, also my second one of these this trip, so probably keep count of how many liquid deaths I have. Like I said, I think this is number two. Um, at least I've recorded. Uh, I'll keep track of them, don't worry. Above a counter probably here. So after leaving Chick-fil-A and getting my second liquid death of the trip, we went through the cities and off to my next stop, which was Costco, if you couldn't guess. I went there a lot. Like, a lot. All right, so I just made it to the Costco. Um, we in line for gas way too long, but hey, at least it's a nice stop. Might go inside, walk around for a bit, kill some time, but yeah. Time to wait another 10 minutes. All right, just got done filling up gas. You know, I'm gonna go inside. Pro tip, use the bathroom while you can, not while you have to. Um, you know, better be safe than sorry, I guess, or whatever. So yeah, head inside, maybe get some things. Probably not, I'm not that hungry. Um, but yeah. All right, just got out of Costco. Didn't get anything besides my GoPro. Turns out it's outdated. The 13 actually looks pretty cool, I can't lie. Um, so I might have to get it in the future. Um, not anytime soon though. I got other things prioritized for a new action camera I barely use. So yeah, um, next stop is gonna be another Shields in Eau Claire, which is in Wisconsin. So better hit the road and get going. Also, I don't know what it is too about the cities. Maybe I'm just from up north and don't see this type of stuff, but there are like BMWs and all these luxury cars everywhere. While well, I'm in a Dodge journey. After leaving Costco number two, I drove another three and a half hours to get to Eau Claire, Wisconsin, which is kind of on the edge of Wisconsin, to go to another Shields, because why not? Shields is awesome. If you've ever been to Shields, you would understand. 
All right, so now I'm at Shields. You can see there, um, there's some guy's car alarm going off back there, so that's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna check this one out. Um, you know, stop, maybe get a couple snacks or two. And yeah, hopefully they have some good stuff here that isn't super expensive like the last one, but hey, I guess you never know until you find out. All right, just got out of Shields. Got a new pair of shorts and uh, a new tank top. I can't talk. Anyway, those will be nice later. Time to hit back on the road and get going. I think I've got like two hours left, so let's get it. Number three. Let's start driving. After a long three hours of driving, I'm at Costco. I'm gonna fill up on gas again, use the bathroom and stuff just because it's convenient and the gas here is cheap. That's why I've been stopping here. It's like the third one this trip so far. Uh, counter up there, probably. Anyway, I finished this off too. Let's head inside. All right, so after I went to my third Costco and filled up my gas, I got some protein powder because I was missing out on that. Also, sorry in this recording if you can hear my fan. It is really hot in this room, so that is why. Side tangent aside, though, I'm recording, filling up my gas and stuff. And one thing you guys may notice is that the gas cap, like, pops out of my, uh, uh, what's it called, the fuel gauge, or gas thing. I'm going to get roasted in the comments, but that fell out, so that was a good time. All right. So after a short drive, finally at where I'm staying, and probably going to call it a night here. Actually, probably not. You'll see a little more. I was right. You guys do get to see a little more. My cousin and my uncle and I got to go to this restaurant that was in Madison, Wisconsin. And it's like old factory building. It was pretty cool. Got these pizza slices. And I also had technically my fourth look of death in the trip, which was great. I love the regular sparkling water ones, and I hadn't had that in a while. So it was good to go back to the classics. And overall, this building was really cool. And there was a lot of cool things going on there. A uh, really nice spot, and also the sky was very pretty. Um, I don't know, can't beat those northern skies, I guess. All right, so the next day, getting ready to go. Got a nine hour drive ahead of me. Gonna go through Illinois and probably some other places, so yeah. I was gonna try this quick. All right, white monster taste test. It's okay. It's okay. I'll say it's okay. Five out of ten. Boy's attention, so they could let him in, but he didn't see anybody. So feeling sort of. All right. So, just stopped at Chick Fil A. Gonna get some breakfast here on my way out. Uh, I've only been driving for a half hour, and it's already felt like a long time. Luckily, listening to Mr. Ball on here. Love that guy. Uh, hey, let's collab if you're watching this. Anyway. Um, yeah, just gonna get some stuff to eat and get back on the road. I know though, Chick-fil-A twice. Uh, I don't know, it's the only like decent fast food place. I shouldn't say that, that only decent one that I like, okay? That's around here. There's not much up north, I'm sorry. Just got a Chick-fil-A, got a spicy biscuit in here. Um, gonna eat this quick, head back on the road, and yeah, got like nine hours to drive, so this is gonna be a really fun day. All right, just got done with my Chick-fil-A. Spicy biscuit, eight out of 10, pretty good. Well, yeah, let's get back on the road. So after leaving Chick-fil-A and driving about another two, almost three hours to my next destination, which was somewhere in Illinois, which I passed through Illinois and avoided Chicago because I just didn't want to go that route. I got to see some cool sites like this bridge that was turquoise and then some lakes and different things. It was a great time. All while listening to Mr. Ball. 
All right, so I stopped at the McDonald's in Bloomington, Illinois, just for a little bathroom break and to get a pop here. Which speaking of that, I asked for a pop and they're like, what's that? And I was like, oh, a soda. I don't know, comment down below. What do you call like fountain drinks like Coke or all that? Um, Coke, Pepsi, whatever. Uh, I'm kind of interested because I guess pop isn't a common term yet. I've called fountain drinks pop my whole life. So I don't know, comment down below, but Man, I love pop. Just kidding, I don't really, but. This stuff though, super good. <laughs> so after leaving the McDonald's at Bloomington, Illinois, I drove to the nearest Costco because, you know, I had to stop there again to fill up on gas and all that nice stuff, which was about an hour out of the way, which was a little bit off course from my drive, but hey, it worked and I eventually got there and filled up on gas or Whatever. All right, just arrived at the Costco gas station. Gonna fill up. I think this is like my fourth Costco I've been to so far. So yeah, hopefully not too many more, but I don't know, we still got a ways to go. As I said earlier, I'm at my like fourth Costco. Gonna head inside, probably use the bathroom, get some stuff. I don't know, we got about, I think four, maybe five. Maybe even six hours left. Probably, probably five. I'll say five. I could be wrong. I'll have the actual, the actual amount right there. I don't know. A little rambly, but also tired. Just kidding. I'm never tired. Anyway, gonna go inside, get some stuff done, like I said, and yeah. After getting my stuff, time to head back on the road. I don't even know what number I'm at with these. So after pounding like my sixth liquid death, I eventually made it into Indianapolis, which I had never been in the state before. So it was a neat experience, mostly because it was fields and kind of reminded me of home, basically. Um, but yeah, got to travel through there, and I think I passed like some fort or something. I don't know. It was cool. I didn't get any recording of it though. And yeah, my next stop was. If you couldn't guess, no, like take a guess, it was Costco. All right, just arrived at Costco number five. Gonna fill up and get back on the road. And this should be the last stop until Tennessee. So yeah. All right, just got done filling up gas. Gonna head in Costco again. And yeah, this should be the last time. I think they close anyway here really soon. So yeah, then the final stretch. I think this one is like number seven. Could be even eight. I don't even know anymore. So after stopping in my fifth Costco, filling up on gas, getting a few snacks, and also getting food at the food court because it was dirt cheap, I eventually headed back on the road and traveled all the way from my stop in Indianapolis down straight to Tennessee, which was a pretty long drive, and I recorded a bunch of it. And instead of showing you each individual part and making this video way longer than it already is, it's going to be in a time lapse. So enjoy. One thing I should mention though is why the time I got into Kentucky, it started to storm pretty bad. Um, these first few clips show it being pretty tame, but as soon as I got down to Nashville and to the heart of Tennessee, it was completely raining and traffic got really bad. So enjoy the time lapses of those two.
Gotta pause that. Anyway, I just made it to the factory here. I'm gonna meet a guy for a guitar, so hopefully this goes well. Um, I'm pretty excited. Like, I'm really excited for this guitar and stuff. It's gonna be fun. And, uh, yeah, like I said, outside the factory, um, you might have seen it in my last, uh, not last video, but my video when I was down here before. I'll have it linked in the description or maybe up there. Anyway, yeah, I finally made it. Um, not at the house yet, but hey, at least I'm down here, so yeah. Um, I'll show you the guitar once I get it. So I made it. Um, it's pretty late at night. I got here like a couple hours ago. Just the camera here a little bit. See some of the stuff I put up in the background. Haven't done too much with the room besides Fall Out Boy album there. Probably stay there. And then my buddy's American Flags right here. Um, I don't know. He'll probably take that back. Um, but I got this guitar. It's a Fender Stratocaster. Um, I'm pretty excited for this. Gonna learn guitar while I'm down here. Um, it's electric, because, you know, I listen to more music that uses electric, even though uh, country's pretty big down here. I don't know, maybe I'll become a country star, you never know. But, um, yeah, it was a super fun trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for being late on uploads, you know, busy with all this moving stuff and all that. But, uh, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not already. Comment down below your thoughts on this. I will see y'all in the next video.